And now after I build some muscle, I don't think so, homeboy. I am back up to 90 kilos. And a lot of times when I talk to people about these kind of things, they know that they need to eat more protein. General people know about protein nowadays, but they don't have an imagination how much they should eat. This is what I'm gonna show you in this video. So let's pack our things and go to the grocery store and get 200 grams of protein and pack this in a full day of eating that I'm gonna show you now. Let's go. And by the way, in the end, I'm gonna show you something that I've been eating the last three years that really has been the game changer in my like daily kind of protein intake solution or strategy almost should be forbidden like it's a cheat hack so to speak but more to that after grocery shop so oftentimes when we eat when we eat out of this shit here then it's either one of two reasons because we're bored or we want to see what's new whereas it should actually be because we're hungry because that's a normal way how we should eat first there's hunger then we eat not because we want to see what newsflash we have in the fridge. And believe me, I struggled with that as well. Because when I first started my fitness journey, I was over 120 kilos heavy. I didn't do any sport. I didn't move. It was just drinking, smoking, partying, and all the things that I'm telling you now are bad for you. For sure, I was eating fast food. I am nowadays as well, but not in that excess. And if you want this athletic look, like this athletic performance as well, then there's one key thing that changed my life completely when I found out about it. And just believe me when I tell you, it's not about how much sport you do, it's something else. The key factor that changed my life is how much protein I would consume. Because there are several reasons. Protein is first the thing that kind of like builds your muscle, it builds body tissue. And we need protein when you do resistance training, when you do martial arts, when you do every kind of movement to repair the damaged body cells. If you want to know that a little bit more in detail, I've made a video about protein where we cover everything that you will need to know. Watch it here on the card or I'll link it also in the video description. So in the free macronutrient space, we have protein, fats and the carbohydrates. And where from protein and fats are essential and carbs are just, and carbs are just there. So how much protein did I eat? I was aiming for about two grams per kilogram of body weight. So when I started with 120 kilos, that would mean 240 grams of protein. Now I'm down to 90 kilos. In my best time, in my best time, in my leanest time I was down to 78 kilos, which was too low for me <laughs> because it was in a kind of a shitty space, but that was the leanest I ever got. So I used my fitness pal to calculate everything and according to my fitness pal we have now a little over 2000 calories, so we have 2069 calories and macronutrient wise we have 232, <clears throat> 233 grams of protein, we have 171 grams of carbs, of which are 11 grams of fiber and 35 grams of sugar, which is okay, I would say, and 45 grams of fats. And this is what I would eat to lose weight for myself as a martial artist, as a strength training, whatever enthusiast. And let's go through it. So, so what we have for breakfast is pretty standard. It's 75 grams of oats. We have a handful of blueberries. We have 100 milliliters of milk and then two scoops of whey protein powder. This is to bring you through the day to start the day right because oatmeal is like the kind of energy that you need in the morning. It's a great source of fiber. It's a great source also of protein. And with the blueberry, you have some antioxidants. You have some anti-inflammatories that's pretty useful when you do a lot of strength training and a lot of sparring a lot of hard training you have some fiber here in it as well and also vitamins are awesome in the blueberry what you can have as a rule of thumb berries that are blue or red are most of the time lower in sugar than the other colors so for example a banana would be very high in sugar that gives also a lot of energy but here we don't need it necessarily because I'm not like training always in the morning a banana would be something pre-work okay moving on to the next meal what we would have is pretty standard you have some chicken here this is 300 to 400 grams on the on the package but I know there's a lot of water in it when you have it in the pan so always see that you are not calculating with the, that weight and it's the same with the rice you need to have the net weight and not um, the brood weight so to speak okay this here is a little bit more expensive than casual rice, but, but I'm a lazy fuck and therefore I bought it. This just goes into the microwave and bam bam, it's finished. Then here, what you have as vegetables, something I discovered today. It's a high protein mix and I mean, it's super comfortable that you have like, oh, I'm actually mistaken because this here is 300 grams and my fitness pal doesn't recognize it. So we have, <laughs> awesome. This one has per 100 grams, 6.2 grams of fiber, which means these are 300 grams, so we have 18 So we have more than 80 grams of fiber just in this one here by eating this one. That's awesome it's gonna make us <laughs> <laughs> I 
that would be the standard meal. Then what we have for dinner is three eggs, some tomatoes that we're gonna chop off, then we have some cutter, some prosciutto, and we're gonna do scrambled eggs. We can add some good seasoning that we can bring it through and maybe some low calorie sauce, that's okay. And then as a snack, after training, in the evening when we are hungry and you're on the couch with your girlfriend or whatever, this here, skier or low fat curd cheese because this is like a pop. This is like one or two dollars, Swiss francs, whatever your currency is. It has per 100 gram 60 calories, from which are 11 grams protein. <laughs> this is actual, it's the good shit here. And then we add for the flavor, one other scoop of protein powder, and also you can use something like a flavor powder, whatever, but this here is actually kind of enough for me. And after this one here, I tell you, you are not going to want to eat any more sugar things because it's always the thing, right? You're on the couch, you're on the couch in the evening after training, whatever you're chilling, and then you get this feeling. This here is what saves you then. So now you know, now you don't have any excuses to like eat shit because this here, this keeps you full. This is good stuff. Natural things, you need those things to have energy for your training. And this in the one or the other form, I would eat pretty much every day. On the weekends, maybe I do a brunch with my girlfriend, but this is the standard. And the standard is what makes the difference in the long run. For sure you can switch this here with some ground beef. You can switch these here. <clears throat> Let me see. Here I'm a big fan of those frozen vegetables. That's awesome because these are actually better than non-frozen because these are picked up when they're ready so all the vitamins and minerals are in there and then they're shock frozen and when you have something like these here that are fresh from the supermarket they're not picked up fresh so they're going to ripe on the travel so depending on where they are coming from models are like picked up green and this doesn't happen with this here so that's actually and most of the time this is also cheaper and there's some other thing that I use daily since three to four years that has been making a tremendous amount of difference. And what it is, watch this video here to find out.